not, not. You guys like the blue pill or the red pill? Ladies and gentlemen, today we gotta talk about the hacking of Andrew Tate. Now, to understand, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm working on a video probably for tomorrow, the, maybe for tomorrow, actually. Uh, do you know the Chinese government just hacked your cell phone company? Sh shit's insane these days, man. It's a wild world we live in. But uh, I wanted to talk about this because uh, I honestly find any kind of hacking story, you know, with Andrew Tate or any of these like online courses to be hilarious indeed. I had to make sure I take these glasses off. For the first time in my life, I actually did buy like sunglasses when I was out in Texas with the uh, Oompaville, Wendigoon, and uh, all the boys, really. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, let me tell you something right now. It like changes the time of day, like four hours in the forward, Jesus Christ. But to give you an idea about what happened, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we had Andrew Tate's Real University uh, hacked. Now, for anybody that has no idea, uh, way back in the day when I made a video, not way back in the day, but when I first covered Andrew Tate for the first time and subsequently afterwards, uh, you guys can basically go to those videos and figure out that I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Andrew Tate. But uh, Andrew Tate back in the day used to have things like Hustlers University, okay? Now this isn't active so much anymore, but if you go to it, it's basically a online course that you can purchase access to that will allow you to figure out the 19 proven money-making methods to make fast cash by those Bentleys and the Raris and the Jets and the Gucci and the Balenciaga and everything. So yeah, you wanna be rich? This is where you wanna go into. But since then, it's evolved. See, Andrew Tate and much of the, you know, uh, I guess you could say alpha red pill sphere is kind of making the uh, Matrix one of the most popular, uh, you know, film series of our time, so to speak. And uh, they've created something known as the real world, uh, you know, tool. So the real world is actually a new course by Andrew Tate where uh, <laughs> money making is a skill. We'll teach you how to master it. So again, you can join 113,000 like-minded individuals. Hustlers University is no more, okay? The assets have moved to the real world. So here's the massive upgrade here. We'll go over it real quick, okay? You can learn vital life lessons. World-class custom-built learning application. Scale from $0 to $10,000 a month as fast as possible. Master the skills you need to maximize your income, okay? Master those skills. So you open up this application, I guess, you go to, you go to the courses and it's just, you, you read this book, you got your little coffee and uh, boom, <laughs> in your mansion and everything pretty soon. So you join this network with other people that have also spent $50 to figure out how to make crazy amounts of money. And you get access to multimillionaires who are hyper successful experts in their field. Now, to give an idea over here, the kind of courses you'll be learning is things like e-commerce. So set up your own online store, not really uh, that wildly difficult. You've got copywriting, which is master the art of selling with words, okay? So basically go to ChatGPT, tell it to write a novel for you, and somehow flip that on Amazon enough times and you'll make a pretty penny, or at least enough to pay back your initial investment. Capitalize your gains through the stock market, bitch. Business and finance, <laughs> crypto investing. You Should you really take your advice from crypto investors in this game? I'm not entirely sure, but to be fair, that's for you to decide. The only thing I feel like these people really have an actual bonus is in fitness, because let's be honest here, these guys are some pretty fit, muscly dudes, all right? They probably got the real uh, alpha dog ability on that. I'll give them that much right there. Now look, in the age of young men who really need some level of guidance, I don't, you know, disregard any of these people from jumping to the real world, you know, uh, you know, site. And the thing is, I might make fun of it, but I understand the kind of people that these kind of programs appeal to. It's individuals that are really trying to make it and hustle in a world that is becoming more increasingly expensive as days really go on. It's a time and an age where younger people really feel like they just need more money as compared to previous generations. So if somebody who's super rich with Bugattis comes and tells you, for $50 a month, you too can learn how to be rich. You can break out of the matrix. I don't blame anybody to actually jump into these programs and try figuring things out. And maybe, maybe they might achieve some level of success, I would imagine, depending on what they do and how much effort they put into it. And anytime you look into these programs, it's like, how quickly will I make my money back? Well, it depends how seriously you take the real world. But many students made their money back in a couple of weeks. All right, fair enough. Everything is for educational purposes. It's up to each student to implement and do the work. What about people under the age of 18? Does my age really not matter? 
No, but we encourage anyone under the age of 18 to consult a parent or guardian before signing up. Instead of getting the newest video games just to find them boring in a week, you can join our community, start your business, and shock your friends and family by becoming the kid who's leveling up in real life. <laughs> Why play GTA Online, motherfucker? Do it in reality. Not really. Don't, don't commit crimes. So anyways, sometime over the last uh, couple days, there was a massive hack, and the way that I ended up figuring out about this was through a site known as Distributed Denial of Secrets. There's a 501c3 nonprofit in the U.S. that archives and publishes leaked, hacked, and, you know, information onto the internet. So one of them they published was Andrew Tate's The Real World. And of course, they look more and more into this, and you've got things like paramilitary election interference, you've got Israeli Defense Force documents, you've got more information from the Israeli Ministry of Justice. So if you're somebody that's interested in government leaks, like the Embassy of Ecuador, you would absolutely enjoy a website like this that provides you access to information that at one point was very highly classified. So again, in Andrew Tate's The Real World, these were chat logs. So again, it's not necessarily coursework material. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to pay 50 bucks and just wants to pirate the material that's on The Real World, uh, just do a Google search, okay? And I'll tell you why real quick. Uh, previously known as Hustlers University, the logs are taken from 221 public and then of course 395 private chat servers, which are spread across dozens of campuses according to the site metrics. So with the amount of people that are actually registered to the website, they were apparently raking in $5.6 million monthly. So it's not so much following what's on Hustlers University, it's just making your own Hustlers University. It's basically creating your own thing where you're at the top and you just get people below you to just purchase it. That sounds very similar. No, you should just have an entire course where you're selling this information uh, and other gullible people jump in and buy it, okay? That's where the real money is supposed to be made. So the data includes, and this is the most important aspect, 324,382 unique email addresses that belong to users who might have even just been removed from the main database after you have actually stopped paying your subscription. So even if you once signed up to this service, you actually could have had your information still kept. And because it was part of this leak, now it's available for people to download. So if you look at the private channels, they were all with things about AI automation agency, business mastery, content creation, copywriting, crypto, e-commerce, health and fitness, Hustlers Campus, social media and client acquisition, and then the real world. So this is like terabytes upon terabytes of chat log and of course the most important user information. So the real creepy thing about this obviously is not so much that this is bad for Andrew Tate. Clearly it's not. The guy's rich, the guy's loaded, and this program still makes millions monthly. So there's no real loss there. But the thing about it is for people who are in this user group who have actually used their real usernames that they probably share with things like LinkedIn or work, provided you haven't been separating these things, have inadvertently been part of a leak where if an employer wants to look through, and trust me, any background check will bring this up, they can then find an actual affiliation to people like Andrew Tate. So in a world where just being associated to this guy can land you out of opportunities, uh, social media groups, basically being ostracized from aspects of entire society, that's never a good thing for somebody who literally probably just joined this to make like, or figure out how to make like a few extra bucks. You don't even need to agree with Tate. You were just like, damn, this guy might've actually made me rich if I just followed these simple advice uh, sheets, I guess, provided. Now, according to the old top G himself, fake news alert. Ding, 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 fake news, boys. The real world has never lost names, addresses, credit card details, or any personal private data in its history. We got matrix attacked, and some nerds played with our new custom emoji functionality. The chats inside the real world are public to any paying member. But that's obvious, how is that a hack? Well, if people were able to breach that information without paying for it, then yes, that does constitute a hack. Uh, and yes, we can argue how amazing the hack could be, but that is a hack, bro. The news just plays it up and tries to discredit us. The most advanced hackers in the world have tried to take us down and failed. <laughs> we are too strong. The matrix itself has failed. The real world is secure and we've only just begun. <laughs> Dude, if he's not parodied in Grand Theft Auto 6, that's a missed fucking opportunity. 
So when it came to the security uh, hole, like when it came to the security bugs, the hackers decided to fuck up their emojis and basically make it so that in their Discord, you know, communication, all the emojis would just be, Andrew Tate likes kissing femboys. Ooh, you got some trans flags. You've got some memes. I believe this meme is referred to as the boy kisser. And you've got Andrew Tate AI generated with a, with a pride flag on. You got some of Andrew Tate's bussy. All right. So yeah, it's... um. I, I would assume Andrew Tate in his community would just uh, probably go, No! That's wrong! It's gay! <laughs> All right? Like, maybe I would say that would be just the uh, Andrew Tate response or, or really anybody in the real world. To be fair, I would pay uh, an, an ungodly amount of money to see the chat during this moment in time, the freakout that would be occurring digitally. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, this was the actual hack that occurred. Now, there was a couple of things that apparently were being leaked out to show you just what was going on and some of the ways they taught you how to make money. And one thing that I found kind of wholesome was this, make money. So there's some neighborhood side hustles, okay? Some little side modules. Now, much like a university, they were teaching people how to mow lawns. So lawn mowing course part one, two, and three. Now I can't verify the validity of this. I'm showing this because it's hilarious. Now the thing about this is, is why fuck you need two videos to teach people how to mow a lawn? Like, are we at a point where children need a father figure so bad that we got to teach you how to start a lawnmower and run it over grass? It literally, dude, I swear embryos come out of the womb with this knowledge already. You know, if you were a kid like me, if you were a, if you had a heartbeat, I'm sure every single one of you probably mowed a lawn at some point. M module two, dog walking. Ooh, three videos on how to walk a dog? Come on now, that's, it's not, come on, <laughs> really? Pressure washing, one video. All right, I guess teaching people how to use one. Snow shoveling, one video. Car washing courses, why even the video aspect? But from what I've understood, this is not so much about, you know, Andrew Tate teaching people that you can get rich via doing any of these things, because here's the thing, statistically, you're never gonna get rich walking the dog or, or mowing the lawn, okay? But the thing is, this is supposed to be a way for you to get money and use it as, as seed money for bigger ventures, which whatever if true. But I'm wondering where the pimp out hose section of this is, or maybe they're keeping that low key with all the uh, legal uh, shit that's going down onto them. Even when it comes to crypto trading, you shouldn't really follow these people because of their involvement with things like meme coins. Like, yeah, they might be charismatic and they might say that they'll take the L for you, but do you really think a guy like this is gonna just take the L? Uh, even if he is like a nearly infinitely wealthy individual just to not make more money on top of it. Look, once you're rich, people just wanna keep getting richer and richer and richer. Uh, but anyways, that's a whole different point. There's a lot of research some, uh, you know, individuals in the crypto space have done into his coins, and it hasn't really looked all that great. But I'll leave that where it's at, because I haven't personally, you know, dove too deep into Tate's crypto. So the way that the hackers were able to do this was they found some vulnerability in the platform that allowed them to upload emojis, delete entire attachments, crash everyone's actual clients, and then temporarily ban individuals. So... If I had to really hazard a guess, I'm sure that the platform that was used to build the real world uh, might have just been taken off from an open source project and lightly modified. Maybe some security measures were taken place, but the hackers clearly described that it was literally just uh, hilariously insecure. So look, at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that joined up for some pretty bargain bin advice, but what really is the headline over here is according to you know this leak, uh, the usernames, email addresses, and chat logs were leaked. And while chat logs aren't really the biggest of the deal, depending on what's in them, the email addresses is the biggest part. I'm gonna give you guys a real great tip to end this video on. If you're ever, ever signing up for something where you absolutely fucking lootly need to have like your email, just make a burner email, dog. Okay, are you signing up for a shady website on the internet? Are you signing up for something uh, social media related? Are you signing up for, I don't know, an adult website? Just use a separate email address, okay? Don't get caught lacking and actually go sign up for services where people can tie them to your professional identification or your identification at all. This is some of the dumbest shit that I've ever seen. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really shock me. Andrew Tate's university got hacked and people laughed. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. Soon we'll be looking at the Chinese government hacking into our cell phones.
or more specifically, <laughs> our cell phone companies, which is also pretty bad. Anyways, I am out.